kind of take us through that last defensive possession when you got switched on to Luca? What kind of what were you trying to do? What did you see unfold there? Uh, I mean, we just switched on the pick and roll, and uh, I was on the ISO, Luca, and he hit, he hit a big time shot. You know, uh, um, yeah, I let I let my team down on the last play. When you say you let your team down, how how did how do you think that? Uh, they believed in me to get a stop and uh, and he scored. You know, and he scored a three, which is uh, something that he does really well. So uh, definitely, uh, um, yeah, definitely uh, uh, taking that responsibility. You know that uh, uh, I need to be better in that situation. Ideally, in that spot, do you want to funnel him inside the three-point arc, or like? Uh, I mean, uh, in that case, that probably would have been a better option. But uh, no, just just gotta stop. You know, just gotta stop. Be better. Where do you guys have faced tough circumstances before in the last series? Maybe not a loss quite as close or crushing as this one. H how do you guys respond? Kind of, what's the mood in the locker room? What do you say to each other to regroup quickly here? Uh, I mean, it's a tough loss, but lots of great things tonight on the floor. You know, we it's funny because both those games, we up uh, for, for the majority of the games, you know, so um, we just got to keep going, you know. Adversity, we, we've had adversity uh, all year, you know, and last year too, so just keep going, believe in who we are, keep trusting each other. And, um, and and let's be better. Rudy, uh, you had a some sort of exchange with Luca in the backcourt in the first half. Um, what happened there, and how would you describe kind of the the tone of the level of competition between you two uh, so far this series? Uh, after the foul, you talking about after the foul? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Uh, he was upset about the foul. I told him that it was just a regular foul, nothing dirty, you know, no, nothing try to get him hurt or anything like that. You know, so uh, he's a competitor. And I'm a competitor, and uh, yeah, sometimes you, you know, you can have some of these conversations, but there wasn't no any disrespect or anything like that. Rudy, they're having a lot of uh, effectiveness to go into the lob. Um, mm -hmm. to, to Gafford and Lively. What do you guys need to do as a group to diminish the effectiveness of that part of the Dallas offense? Um, definitely going to watch, you know, some of the, I think some situations are different from one, from one another. I think the pick and roll situation is different than uh, when it's a blow by or when it's a drive and it's coming full speed. And I'm the, I'm the last, kind of like the last, you know, uh, help on the defense, um, but it's a great weapon. You know, the lob is, a, throwing the lob to, to an athletic big is a great weapon and it's really, really hard to stop, you know, when, when you do it. So uh, we're going to watch film and see, yeah, see what we can do, see what I can do and what we can do as a team to um, be better, you know, because uh, they had, how many, I don't know how many they had tonight, but yeah, but I mean the labs, uh, but they have plenty, yeah, way too much. So that's one of those things that we got to clean up for sure. Hey, Rudy, you said that you're taking responsibility and you're putting the blame on your shoulders. How do you psychologically move forward? Like, do you lose sleep after something like this? How do you reset going into what's going to now be a, a must win game three? Uh, just keep giving my best, you know, keep working hard every day, keep doing what you know well obviously watching the film and uh, always uh, look at myself in the mirror see the things that i can do better first and then communicate with uh, we're going to have the conversations about what we want to do the little adjustment that we want to do as a team but for myself you know i've i mean i've been overcoming adversity my whole life you know it's it's uh you know we're down 2-0 uh, we gotta go and, and give uh, everything we have uh, the next game, like we like we did tonight, you know, and uh, and uh, and see what happens. Rudy, it seems like they're making the halftime right here. Rudy, 
just seems like they're making the halftime adjustments. They're winning the fourth quarter battles. But what have you noticed from them in the fourth that is just separating them from you? And what do you need to do to overtake them in the, in the leg in the game like that? Uh, I think it's a mix of a lot of different things. I think our execution down the stretch uh, can be a lot better. You know, we have to find ways to be able to uh, get good shots. You know, uh, I thought for the most part of the game, we did a great job doing that. And um, yeah, they got big time, also big time players, you know, that, that have been in those situations many, many times and, um, and are uh, striving in those moments. So we, you know, we got to find ways to, yeah, get, get, uh, be better defensively in the situations. Uh, and, and sometimes you're going to be great defensively and they're still going to score. But uh, I think where your execution offensively uh, has to be better so we can at least, you know, uh, get some good shots off. Rudy, kind of going off of that, um, you all had that 18-point lead and then the runs happened. Um, what What would you say would be best for you all to do to kind of sustain uh, some of those runs from the Mavs and sustain you all's leads, especially um, to end uh, the first halves? I think we need to close quarters better, for sure. I think, uh, and we know it, uh, you know, but uh, when it happens, it happens. I think a lot of it came from our turnovers. You know, we had some couple sloppy plays offensively and they got a couple of dunks or layup, fast, fast break points. Uh, that gave them juice, gave them confidence coming into, sec- coming into the second half. Um, and those plays are, I mean, we, 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 we up 18, we could easily up 20, 22 at that point. But those plays were really a big shifting moment for us and for them, um, second quarter. So, you know, it's basketball. It's basketball. You can always look back and say, should I done this, should I done that? But now we got to come ready for game three. Rudy, you talked about adversity. Um, you've yet to play a complete game. Mike Conley was talking about the team-wise. Knowing that you your team hasn't done that, but you've been so close in these, what kind of a motivation is that then knowing when you do play your complete game, what you can pull off and perhaps three and beyond? Um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to say that it feels good because it, don't, it doesn't feel good to lose, but we really are aware that a lot of times we beat ourselves, you know, uh, and when we don't beat ourselves, we are in a great position to win games. So now it's about finding ways to uh, not be not being ourselves as much, you know, and just uh, being able to be who we are and being able to um, do it even longer and uh, and harder and and being able to do it. Uh, in the end of games too, you know, and we've done it, we've done it before, uh, so you know, we we'll be better.